What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about two things that I really hope to see uh, changed before the Modern Warfare 3 actual release date. And these are two, these are two things, in my opinion, that it's a lot of deal breakers for many players out there. People may or may not even want to play the game or buy the game uh, if these things are not changed. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, when it comes to the beta itself, uh, I had an enjoyable experience. I talked about kind of my first impressions of it. I did like the kind of nostalgic feel of the old maps, but we have some you know, better movement than we did in some of the older COD games. And if you're like me and you've played all the COD games, uh, this game definitely was a, a, a good spin on what we had in the original Modern Warfare 2, but also some more of the advanced movement we've seen over the years. But during the beta, the longer the beta went on, there were two glaring issues to me. First of all, the spawns, and that was already something that they're talking about fixing for this weekend. They said they're going to have to work on the spawn system. The spawns are just really, really bad, and it's something that has plagued Call of Duty for a really long time. In my opinion, domination was kind of rough at times with you know some really bad spawns in the game, but Hardpoint was almost unplayable, and I enjoy Hardpoint for the most part. It's always been a game mode that I've liked to play, but during the beta it was absolutely awful and even just playing team deathmatch you know when you got into a team uh, team deathmatch game sometimes you was falling right in front uh in front of an enemy player um you know two or three times in a row and the same person could kill you so it was kind of annoying the second thing was something that of course has always talked about over the years in call of duty and something that has always been in call of duty but just really ramped up over the last several several games and that is skill-based matchmaking I saw tons and tons of people online on Reddit and social media talking about how every game you got in seemed like it was just very, a very sweaty lobby. Every Everyone there is using the advanced movement can slide cancel. And if you're like myself over the years, I mean, I've always had a good experience playing COD. I always had pretty decent KDs, uh, some really good KDs and some Call of Duty games. And of course... In the past several years, or past several titles, skill-based matchmaking seems like it's turned up more and more uh, as the you know games have you know progressed, and that is kind of a thing I know that is a, is a deal breaker for some players. Some players don't want to deal with a bad, a bad spawn system, and some players don't want to deal with having to you know be at school all day, work all day, and come home. And every single lobby that you play in Call of Duty. Is such a uh, you know kind of a, a grindy game, so close you know just back and forth with great players on both teams or you know people of equal skill on both teams that you feel like you know it's almost a chore to play at times because sometimes you just want to get on, hop on, have fun like you used to a long time ago. And I know the days of the way the the lobbies used to be set up is probably something we'll never see again. But I do agree with a lot of people online, and I know not everyone has the same experience because it seems like people get into different lobbies. But a lot of people online were talking about how every lobby they got in was really, really tough. And that's how it's been for me. I would say since at least 2019, if not maybe a, a year or two before. I don't remember I don't remember Black Ops 4 being as bad for me personally. But COD 2019 is where I started to see a big issue with getting in some really tough lobbies. And now, don't get me wrong, I like to have a good challenging game. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like if I'm going to have to play every game like that, probably something like Ranked is, is why I play that instead. Because if I'm going to be playing a really hard lobby, I feel like that Ranked is just a better way for me to go. Because if I want to be playing people, you know, on an equal skill level, I have to be playing the best I can every single game. I might as well be gaining something from it, whether it be rank or, you know, some maybe different items or something like that you can get in game. But overall... I think the experience would be more fun for a lot of people out there is if we had the old kind of skill-based matchmaking where it's a little bit looser than it is now. And I know that skill-based matchmaking and a bad spawn system, along with the way a lot of people feel about the game of it not really being enough new content to be its own you know, kind of game itself, it should be almost a DLC considering these are all remastered maps we're going to get at launch day. Uh, it makes for a lot of people not to want to purchase the game or kind of that, you know, as Call of Duty games go on, we all know how it is. Everyone's hyped about it to begin with by, you know, after Christmas, you still got new players coming in. People are still hyped up, uh, kind of hyped up about it. But around February and March, the wear of the game starts to kind of 
you know, get to people. They get tired of it. And I have noticed this more even with myself over the years where COD 4, COD 2, uh, Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 3, uh, your, you know, first few Black Ops games, up until really about Black Ops 4, even Call of Duty Ghost, which is not everyone's favorite. I played all those Call of Duty games for 40 or 50 days when you look at my time played. I mean, there were some CODs that I played a lot. And over the years, it's gotten less and less. It's usually 20 days less. I mean, some Call of Duties over the last couple of years, I've only played for around 10 days. And a lot of people get like that as well. I know a lot of people out there talk about how it's just the almost just getting tired of having to get on and grind so hard every game just to have a even KD. Or they get on and the spawn system is so bad that they just feel like they can't play. It's just frustrating. And I wish we could go back to the good days of COD. You know, those days where you get into lobby, sometimes you can absolutely destroy everybody or you get into lobby sometimes where it's a good back and forth game i like the mixture a lot better and i feel like it's a wear on players over time and after so many months of the game being out a lot of people kind of quit playing because of skill-based matchmaking because of the spawn system because of maybe the content that they're bringing to the game is not what they expected and i'm hoping that the guys over at sledgehammer because they have listened to a lot of things that people have complained about over the years and they're changing that and putting that in Modern Warfare 3, and that was one thing that interested me uh, interested me about the game. But at the same time, those two big glaring issues of the spawn system and skill-based matchmaking are still there. And I think that's two things that have been a kind of plaguing Call of Duty for the last several years, if not for a really long time. And it's not something I'm sure we'll ever see fixed, but I'm hoping we can see some improvements on it. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.